Okay, so just because today's experiment didn't go how I wanted it to doesn't mean I'm not going to publish the video. I'm going to publish this as a failure video, meaning I'm not going to put any pre-roll ads in it because it's really, you know, to help me out. I, I want some feedback from the community, from you guys, because I'm not really sure where to go from here. I do not want to run that external power supply off or the external drive off a of power supply. It's really annoying to have, you know, to plug it into a wall and use the power brick that provides 12 volts to it. Um, so today I was trying to get it to run off USB. I have the these uh, 5 volt to 12 volt uh, step up modules right here, so I'm slipping up right now. Um, but I had these step up modules right here. I had a really big capacitor bank over there, and I was trying to get the drive to power up just through uh, these two uh, USB cables and the USB cable for data. Uh, but this thing is just a monster. It is way too power hungry, and it would not power on. So. I'm gonna go ahead and publish this video. I need some feedback from you guys. Is that in focus? I have no idea. Anyway, I need some feedback from you guys, so go ahead, sit back, relax, watch, and tell me what you think uh, I should do next. If I should just give up on this completely, or maybe there's a, a different solution to this. What's up guys and welcome to today's installment of AA Computers and Technology. I have a really neat episode coming up today. Not really sure if it's going to be a thing yet. Still doing some uh, preliminary testing right now. I still haven't bought all the parts yet. I have to run to the dollar store and buy a USB cable or two depending on the power requirements of this drive. Uh, but the goal of this video today is to get this 3.5 inch drive enclosure running off uh, just USB. I do not want to have to use this 12 volt power adapter. It's really annoying and the way we're going to do that uh, is by using these 5 volt to 12 volt step up modules. You can pick these up on eBay. They're like 99 cents each. They're a really cheap solution uh, to doing this. So overall, this project's probably going to cost under, you know, three, four dollars once I buy the USB cables from the dollar store. Okay, so down to the testing phase right now. First, I need to see how much power this drive actually draws in reality. On the data sheet, I think it says it draws around uh, 7 to 10 watts. This is a Western Digital Caviar SE uh, 400 gigabyte hard drive rotating at 7,200 RPM. And the way I'm going to do that, I have this little power adapter right here that I've never ever used. I don't even know what it goes to. And it's using the exact same jack uh, that this 12 volt power supply is. So basically, I can just cut this off hook it up to my DC power supply and measure how much current it is drawing and then we multiply the uh, current by the voltage and then we get how much power it's actually consuming. Now I was doing a little bit of research this morning and it seems like the general idea is that a USB 3.0 port can output up to 4.5 volts. That can vary uh, between manufacturer to manufacturer. Some manufacturers up that number a little bit to give you a little bit more power, but to be on the safe side, I'm just gonna stick to that 4.5 watt number. Now, that means that the drive on the 12 volt side is going to have to consume under nine watts. Um, there is some inefficiencies when converting the five volts to the 12 volts too, so I'm gonna have to factor that into uh, uh, the amount of power it can output as well. So I'm gonna hook this up to my power supply and see how much it is drawing. Just sitting idle, the drive is consuming about 700 milliamps at 12 volts. That computes out to about eight and a half watts. So that's under our nine watt ceiling. When it's seeking, reading, and writing, it is consuming a little bit more power. Uh, it's sitting around 800 milliamps when it's doing all that. Uh, so that's slightly over the ceiling that we have, but it should be fine. The main concern I have with this is that inside the drive, of course, it's utilizing a motor to spin the platter. And as with most motors, it does require quite a bit of current to start it up. So I think I can actually work around it by putting a bunch of capacitors in parallel with it, um, and then that should help it start up just fine. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna close out of this and I'm gonna eject the drive real quick. All right, unmount volume. I'm gonna pull it out, it should spin down. It did spin down, okay. As you can see, the drive is off now, but still plugged in. It's kind of in uh, standby mode right now. So I'm gonna plug it back into my computer and check out the, uh, the way the current jumps. I mean, so it uses all the way up to two amps upon startup. That's 24 watts, that's a lot of power. So we're definitely gonna have to come up with some type of solution to uh, get that motor up and running. The best solution would probably be to put a bunch of capacitors in parallel once again. 
You know what? Let's just go ahead and do it. As you can see, I just got back from the dollar store. I picked up two USB cables. We have the step-up converters right here, power cables right here, still hooked up to the power supply. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna put everything in this like little uh, plastic box or just kind of heat shrink everything together. Uh, that, that really depends on what the final product ends up looking like. Uh, but yeah, we are cutting it really close with the power requirements, but hey, it's Saturday morning, just had a cup of coffee, feeling really enthusiastic. I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this. One thing is for sure at this point, I'm definitely going to have to utilize two USB ports because this drive just draws way too much power to only use one. And on top of that, I'm also going to have to use both of the step-up modules. So I'm going to go ahead and cut up this USB cable, hook everything up. Uh, going to hook up the USB cables to the line inside on both of the step-up modules. And then these are going to be outputting 12 volts through uh, the power jack right here, which I'm also going to have to solder to both the boards somehow. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Going to make a little montage and then get back to you guys. Update one, USB cables are now attached and they are both 100% functional. I probed them with a multimeter and they are both outputting 12 volts. So we are good to go so far, no problems yet. Okay, so I came into this knowing that this might not work and at this point it has not at all. I've had no luck with it. Um, this drive just draws way too much power. So it looks like uh, I'm going to have to publish this as a failure video and that means I'm not going to monetize it, but I'm, uh, I'm also not going to leave uh, ratings up. Um, so yeah, because I know some people are going to be like, oh, why'd you even publish it? Well, the reason I published this is because I want to get some feedback from the community. I would really like to get this up and working. Um, and if there's a way how, you know, please post it in the comments section. Here's what I got going so far. So we have our uh, two USB cables plugged into the USB ports running to both of the 5 volt to 12 volt step up modules. That's running over here. There's a diode right here. And then as you can see, there is a uh, pretty large capacitor bank right here. Now the problem with this was I don't really have capacitors that are uh, super high in capacitance. Uh, the, the largest value I had was a 330 microfarad capacitor at uh, 16 volts. So uh, it's it, I really need to uh, go on eBay and probably buy some uh, higher capacitance capacitors Maybe maybe if I you know bought some uh, one microfarad capacitors put a couple of them in parallel This might actually you know help the drive spin up and therefore I'd be able to use it I'm not sure um, I would like feedback on that from you guys You know would would adding some more capacitance in here actually allow the drive to start up and continue running? Um, because at this point, you know, it will turn on uh, but the drive just sits there and clicks Yeah, and you can see the power light is on. I'm not sure if the microphone's picking it up, but the drive's just sitting here clicking. It's not getting enough power to spin up initially. So uh, yeah, either I need some more capacitance in here or this isn't gonna work at all. I'm not really sure at this point. That's why I published this video. I'd love to get some feedback from you guys because once again, I'm an engineering student who hasn't taken any engineering classes. So, um, you know, advice from some of the more experienced people out there would be great uh, about what to do with this because I would really love to get this up and working because once again, I don't really like using this drive with that power adapter. I just want to try something else real quick out of curiosity. So if I hook it up to the actual uh, 24 watt adapter and then quickly unplug it and then switch back to the USB power supply, will it stay on? So basically just get the 24 watt adapter to spin it up initially and then quickly swap it out and keep it running with, um, with this from the uh, USB source. That's weird. When you, when you, um, well, the USB source couldn't hold it, but when it was powering down, it powered down in sort of stages as if uh, the capacitors were charging and then discharging, which I, I think that's what's going on. I might be wrong, um, but you know, it sounded like rrr, 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 rrr. as the draw, as the uh, drive started to hit lower RPMs, the pitch started to uh, uh, lower in like increments. It was kind of, kind of odd. All right guys, so it looks like I'm going to call it. Suggestions are appreciated. It's just even possible. You know, what should I do to get this up and working? Because I would really like to just power the drive off USB. Uh, but at this point, it seems like even the uh, 24 watt adapter is struggling to uh, get this drive up and going. Because if I put my ear, not even my, put my ear next to it, but if I just stand up here and plug it in, I can hear physical noise coming from that power supply. Um, so, I mean, this thing's just a beast of a hard drive. Maybe if I put something a little bit more modern, which consumed uh, some less power, maybe something like a Western Digital Green hard drive, it might be a bit better. I don't know, I don't have one. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just a beast and it's eating up too much power. So suggestions are welcome. Thanks for watching. If you watched all the way through, uh, I know it probably got boring at some points, especially since the title says failure. So it's kind of disappointing already. Uh, thanks for watching guys. And I will see you in the next installment of AA Computers and Technology. Hopefully uh, one of those being we will actually get this up and working.